So that's, of course, another big part of the problem. Prosperity has the natural tendency in the corrupt, morally fallen human heart to breed carnality in a self-serving materialism, not thankfulness. And that, in turn, has caused many American Christians who have been overindulging in their prosperity to approach church and the whole idea of Christianity with a bless-me attitude. In other words, instead of becoming more grateful for and more generous with what God has already given us, it has tended to make American Christians like spoiled children who only want more for ourselves rather than share what we already have. So that's an undeniable part of the problem. But I think that it's also hard to deny that much of the blame for the relative disregard that the modern church has for the poor, both here and abroad, unfortunately rests in the pulpits. And don't get me wrong, we're all guilty to one degree or another on this issue. But there is a decided, very obvious lack of powerful, Holy Spirit-led, clear, plain speaking biblical instruction for most modern pulpits today on the subject of what our responsibilities to the poor really ought to be as Christians. And I think that's fair to say, because even though false professing Christians and mere hypocrites can and very often will duck their responsibilities on this issue, even when they're taught properly, and even though the flesh of even every true Christian has a natural tendency to rise up and fight tooth and nail against the true biblical standard of financial stewardship. Yet, I think it's equally true that no sincere, born of the spirit, genuine Christian can resist, for very long anyway, the clear, plain teaching of God's commands. Because as Ezekiel 36 puts it, when God actually redeems a person, they become a true believer, Inherent in that redemption is this promise from God. He says, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. That's the genuine reality of all true Christians. 